Hello there, Florina. Let's have a look at your work. Experts throughout the developing and developed world have been have debated whether ancient buildings from larger cities should be renovated. While some believe that this trend is a waste of money and better use for new developments. Okay, no. While some believe that this tr trend is a waste of money. Personally, I strongly disagree. Okay, so. And here, this this phrase needs to be re rephrased. Well, some believe that the trend is a waste of money, and there is a better use for new developments. Personally, I strongly disagree. This essay will describe both sides using examples. Okay, good. Be careful. Adapt this sentence to make it relevant to your essay. To make it relevant to this topic, this essay will describe both sides using examples from the UK government and what's the next point and the and I don't know lifestyle or whatever this is about to demonstrate points and prove arguments then we just make the sentence unique to this paragraph to this essay sorry otherwise it's copy paste sentence that could be put in any essay could be used in uh, in an essay about climate change about pollution about whatever the examiners will spot it so be careful there is ample evidence good that historical structures are an important asset for a city genius start crystal clear great and it's clear that you're in favor so good work central reason behind this is twofold very good first these buildings represent the culture and heritage of that place and are strongly attached to the history of the city genius secondly maintaining these historical values tourism industry may flourish boost the city's economy good for example a re for example recent data it's plural get rid of the a recent data released by the uk government showed that the income produced by the tourism services represents 30 percent of their total economy therefore it is conclusively clear that demolishing these valuable buildings part of the city's history would they are and also will be a national loss very good very good let's see so, okay, so be careful, okay? We, we kind of just went, not off topic, but we're blurring it. It's not so clear. So I'll give you an illustration of how we could be more accurate. For example, recent data released by the UK government showed that the income produced by by um, by tourism, comma, especially from visits to renovated old buildings, comma, represents thirty percent of their national economy. Okay, because somebody could look at this and easily argue that hey, the tourism in England is not because of the buildings; it's because of the parks. Yeah because it's not very clear here. So we just need to be making a little bit more specific. Other than that, this is a fantastic paragraph. We've got the structures, we've got the sentence, we've got, uh, we've got the sentences, C2 template. It's working, to a, it's working as a charm. You're doing very good, Florina. Although there is a case for preserving old buildings, the impact of a new infrastructure, of new infrastructure and houses, and no, the impact of new infrastructure and housing development cannot be overstated. This is because these new projects may also provide a better lifestyle and a pollution-free environment. Genius sentences. For instance, developing a new metro structure will reduce significantly the traffic congestion and pollution level. Consistent with this line of thinking is that new home developments are also necessary to build the younger generation's future. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that new roads and housing housing developments are beneficial for a city good work let's see news housing and road development yeah why are we talking about metros be careful very i mean it's a wonderful paragraph it's very eloquently expressed but we've kind of gone off topic yeah developing a new road system that's all we have to change would would significantly 
would reduce significantly the traffic congestion and probably improve safety too. Yeah, that's all. That's all we needed. Other than that, it's a very good paragraph. Just be careful. I'm glad you've made this mistake with us. Now, in future, hopefully you remember this metro accident <laughs> and you'll double, triple check the question before jumping in or even better, double, triple check your plan before jumping in with two feet. Thus, no, in conclusion, from the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that while all constructions maintain our history, life, our historic life and increase the economy, what? Oh, sorry, all constructions, yeah. New developments have also a considerable impact on major cities. Very good. Very good. I guess this is your conclusion that you see the point you see the points in both investments. Um, however, up here we said we only see the points in one of them. So be careful there, be careful. I would go for consistency and stick with the same argument you stated at the beginning. Just makes it easier. There's no confusion then. The given bar chart represents the annual sales of chips of two French companies, Intel and AMD, from January to December 2017. Good. Overall, the chip sales significantly fluctuated over the period for both companies, with the highest amount of chips sold by Intel in June, while AMD registered their biggest sale in February. Good. In more details, Intel's Intel sales reached a peak of 125,000 chips in June, followed by November with approximately 110,000 and December with just over 100. So did it drop to 100 or are we talking about 100,000? Okay, be careful. Also, try and use a variety. So 110,000, okay? Um, just shows the examiner that you're capable with the numbers. However, the lowest number of chips was also recorded in April and July at around at around good thirty thousand, while the rest of the year sales were between fifty one hundred thousand. Excellent little grouping there. Fantastic. Group that information. I would have liked to have seen a comparison between AMD and Intel though. Yeah? And you could do that because you've got good control of the structures of while and whereas. So, for example, in regards with AMD company sales, the highest figures were registered in February and July when they exceeded 100,000 chips. Whereas Intel for February and July was between 60 and 70 or whatever it was. Okay, just comparison there. These were followed by September and October with around... 90,000 and 80,000 chips respectively. What happened to October, August? Anyway, in contrast, the sales over the remaining months were under 50,000 with a significant number of chips sold in November. Okay. Good, good, good. But I would have preferred, as I said before, some comparisons. Also the maximums, also the minimums. Um, yeah, just bear that in mind for your next academic task one description. So Florina, you are progressing fantastically well through this course and I'm very impressed. What I want you to do now is make a list of all the mistakes that you've heard in this video correction, all the mistakes you heard me talk about with your regards to your essay. Then I want you to write out the two new essay, the, these two essays with the errors corrected, then write out two new essays and check, self-check them for mistakes you've made in previous essays. Once you've done all of that, send it to me in one email all together, and we'll get it back to you as soon as possible, okay? So keep on improving. You're doing well, and have a great day. Bye-bye.